Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0, live from the Ham Shack. My name is Jason, and my call sign is Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Today we're going to be looking at a brand new radio from Baofeng. Uh, Baofeng finally, finally, finally made the jump to a dual band mobile radio. Uh, I've had one of their mono banders for a while. It's just UHF, 400 to 480 megahertz, I think it is. I did a video on it a while back, but I never posted it because... Nobody wants a 440-only radio. At least most people don't. Some of the GMRS guys out there might use it. And I'm pretty sure it's Part 90 approved. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. But um, it's not a bad radio. It uh, works well, just the way they describe it. But I'm like, man, you guys can't, uh, you can't sell this like you could a dual bander. So finally, Baofeng decides to make a dual band. And I think it was at the request of Baofeng Tech USA. Uh, Baofeng Tech is an outfit out of, um, I forget where they're at. They're somewhere up north. I'm in Texas. They're somewhere up north. And uh, Baofeng Tech and uh, Anytone Tech, uh, both.com I think it is, is a, uh, is a U.S.-based distributor that is in contract with Anytone and with Baofeng to make uh, specific radios for them that only they can sell. So Baofeng Tech now has a dual-band, high-power, 50-watt, which is what we're going to check here in a minute, uh, mobile radio. It, um, the screen on it looks a lot like the Juntai radios. It's very simple, uh, not much to it, uh, kind of small, uh, just uh, simple text, but it does have, uh, it is dual band and dual watch, and I think it's dual receive. We'll check that here in a minute, whether it's actually dual receive or not. But it's a 50 watt, it's advertised as a 50 watt mobile radio, and it's about 150 bucks on Amazon, free shipping if you have a Prime account. Well, even if you don't, I think anything over $35 on Amazon's free shipping anyway. So uh, click on the link. You'll, you'll see the link uh, when you're, if you're watching this video from my YouTube page or from my, uh, well, from my website, Live at the Ham Shack, live from, <laughs> live from the Ham Shack.tv. Go to Live from the Ham Shack.tv. Be able to see all the videos I've done there. And, uh, a, l a short little blog post uh, detailing uh, each video. And from there, you can click on the link and see the radio I'm talking about. I won't be selling this on my website because, like I said, it's exclusive to Baofeng Tech USA. But we're going to take a look at it and see if it's worth $150. Bucks. $150 for a uh, dual-band radio? It's a pretty good price. Uh, I sell the TYT TH7800, which is 50 watts, 50 to 60 watts per band. On my website for $199, and uh, those things sell pretty well. They've got a separation kit that comes with it. This one does not have a this one does not have a separation kit that I've seen, and uh, it's not supported by Chirp yet, but I'm sure it will be since it's a bail thing. Something I'm starting is to raffle, if you will, or give away. Uh, these radios that I'm reviewing on Ham Radio 2.0, and by doing that, what I'm trying to do is raise revenue so that I can produce more videos and get better equipment and this kind of thing. Um, so obviously, I've got donation uh, links on my website, live from the Ham Shack TV, down the right hand side. You can make PayPal donations. You can make Patreon donations. Patreon is a monthly subscription service. You can donate anything from a dollar up. Um, if I could get a thousand hams to donate a dollar a month, one dollar a month, I'd be doing great. I'd be able to do a lot more than I can do right now. So if I could get uh, one thousand of you to donate ten dollars a year, I could uh, get a lot more done than I'm doing right now. So a lot of you have been very generous. Thanks to those of you who have donated. If you've found anything useful in these videos, then I appreciate your financial help to make this series grow to um, something bigger than it is today. So one of the ideas I had for revenue generation is to raffle off, not really a raffle, but to uh, give away these radios that I review. This Baofeng Tech USA, it's called a uh, UV5001 yeah, mobile UV. It's sitting right there. You'll see it here in a minute. UV5001 Brand new in a box. I just bought it. $149.99 on Amazon at the time of this video. You never know. They may drop, drop the price later. So it's a $150 radio. Um, I'm going to give it away to the fifth person that donates $10 
a, 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 an annual subscription of $10 to Ham Radio 2.0. So how you do that, go to livefromthehamshack.tv, look down the right-hand side for the subscribe PayPal button, click on that. Uh, from that drop down, you will be able to uh, choose the amount. You can choose five, ten, twenty-five, or fifty dollars. Choose ten dollars. You can choose a bigger one if you want to, but ten dollars is is good. Choose ten dollars, and the fifth person, fifth person, one, two, three, four, five, to donate ten dollars to me uh, on an annual subscription will receive this radio for for free. For ten dollars, basically, you get a hundred fifty dollar radio for ten dollars. So, and I'll, I'll ship it to you. I'll ship it to you uh, at my expense as well. So, continental United States, of course. Uh, if you want, if you live in Canada or someone outside of the United States, and you want to donate ten dollars, I will ship the radio to you. But it might be a little bit more expensive for shipping. So, anywhere in the continental United States, I will ship the radio to you at no additional charge. Ten dollar donation. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be watching the comments on uh, livefromthehamshack.tv at the, down at the bottom of the blog post, and I will keep you guys up to date on how many donations I've received and who won the radio. So thank you very much, 73. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right, here is the first look at the Baofeng Tech, B-Tech, UV5001 radio. Uh, according to the box, it'll do... Right up here at the top, you can see DTMF 5-tone, 2-tone, A and I, CTCSS, which is your regular PL tone, do digital PL tone, scrambler, 200 channels, and it'll do narrow band, wide and narrow band. Of course, it'll do wide band. Some of these commercial radios won't do wide band, unless you have a Motorola. <laughs> it would have a flipping key to get a wide band on a Motorola radio, but this one, of course, will do it. So let's open this up. We've got a manual here. Let's zoom back just a touch. Here, I'll zoom it back like that. There we go. Got a manual, which is a about a 30, 30 page manual. So I don't know if it's a. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's. It's not. The translation's not that bad on it. Change from menu to menu by pressing the exit AB button. Set radio to VFO mode by pressing VM. Let's see. Use only BTEC supplied and improved accessories. Turn off your radio prior to entering any area with explosive or flammable material. Yeah, the, the translation on this is pretty good. Um, they've got a, this, this mini UV2501. If you go to micklore.com, John Micklore out there, he and I trade some emails sometimes. Um, the mini UV, uh, the mini UV2501 looks just like the Juntai uh, JT6188 or the Zastone MP300 radio, but according to John Micklore, the, it's got some added features to it. It's actually not the same. It's the same case, but the internal guts are different. I've not reviewed one of those yet. When I purchased this radio on Amazon, it uh, it did not. Um, that Amazon was was sold out of the 2501. I was going to get one of each, uh, but I but I didn't because uh, they didn't have them at the time. So I just got the 50, the 50 watts. Uh, the 50 watt is the one that I was really interested in anyway. So anyway, that's a manual. Standard T connection on the power cable. Here's what it looks like in here. We actually got the radio and some plastic. Uh, the microphone looks like, uh, shoot, it looks like a Connect Systems microphone. Uh, mobile bracket, of course. And this guy, it looks like, the face of it looks like a TYT TH9000 radio. The buttons are, uh, they've got different names on them. Of course, it's stamped B-Tech right there. Three buttons in the front, four on the top. Knob, knob. Data port there. RJ45 connector. Uh, it's got a, this guy in the back is for an external speaker. It's got a standard SO239 on the back right there. So, it looks like a TYT radio. Of course, it's not. It's probably the same case. You know, these, all these guys use the same case over there. So, that is the 50-watt version. It's pretty darn heavy, too. It's got a decent heat sink on it. And it's probably, I don't know, 3-4 pounds. 
maybe five pounds, something like that. It's not five pounds. It's a decent size there. So let's hook it up and see what we got. All right, we got everything hooked up here. And the power on is really loud, but it do, it is controlled by the volume. So if I turn the volume all the way down, you don't hear it power up or power down. So that's something that is kind of unique to a Chinese radio. There's power down. There's power up. And that's controlled by the volume knob. So sometimes it's just one volume. That kind of irritates some people. I don't blame you. So let's go in here to transmit high power and... Uh, Okay, there's two power settings on this radio. Uh, I will show you that uh, it also does 2.5 kilohertz steps. So 25, 2.5, 5, 6.25. So some people are concerned about 2.5 kilohertz steps, especially if you're doing narrowband. Uh, this radio will do 2.5 kilohertz steps. And other than that, the uh, you know the menu looks very similar to what you're used to seeing on a Beofang radio. Uh, the HT, or the Juntai radios, or the Zastone radios. You can change your receive and transmit color of the screen. It's got receive as blue, transmit as orange, so when I key up it changes it to orange. Uh, this kind of thing, oops. And uh, offset. Um, reset all that kind of thing, so you can adjust your squelch in here. So it's got 48 menus, uh, 49 if you count menu zero, so really it's got 49 menus in the radio here with some extra stuff in it that sometimes you see and sometimes you don't. So that's not bad. So we're gonna go up here to transmit. We're gonna go to low. Okay, so right now we're on 146. I've set, I preset the radio to the 2 meter and the 440 calling frequencies, 146.52 446.100. We're on the 20 watt scale over here on the meter. Get my hand out of the way. Right here, the 20 watt scale on the meter. Uh, gosh, it's still. It's on transmit. It's supposed to be on transmit. Yeah, it's on transmit power low. And, oh, it's okay. You can't. You might be able to see it in the screen. At the bottom left corner of the screen on the radio, there's an L for low power. So I'm going to key up on 146. Again, we're going into a dummy load. For those people who are concerned about such things, 146.520 keyed up on low power. We're looking at on the 200 watt scale, 30, no, 1020, about 25 watts. 25 watts on low. And on 446.1 on low. Holy cow. 40 watts. 40 watts on low. So you got 25 watts on low on 2 meters, 40 watts on low on 440. We may and may not see much difference there. So let's go back to 2 meters. Got a little arrow here on the left hand side of the screen that points to the top and bottom band. Uh, and let's go in here, change that to high. High power. Again, we're on the 200 watt scale over here on the meter. 70 watts. 70 watts on high. 2 meters. Boom. Change here. Set that to, nope. Set that to high. Uh, yeah, you got an H down there in the left hand, bottom left hand corner of the screen for high. So no matter whether it's on high or low, you're going to have an H or an L. 446.1. Uh, 440 simplex calling frequency on FM. About uh, about 70 watts. This radio is kicking 70 watts on high power on both 2 meters and 440. Let's go up here. It's going to transmit on 480. It's doing about right at 50 watts on 480. Go to Four six two sixty two fifty in the GMRS band, high power, fifty watts. Again, people, we're going into a dummy load. I'm not transmitting right now. 
uh, I don't know why you want to go down this low, but high power on 420.0, right at 50 watts. Boy, this thing's solid all the way through. Let's go back up here to uh, 2 meters, 148. High power, still 70 watts. Of course, you only got 4 megahertz wide band on 2 meters. Gosh, about 75 watts on 144.0. Go up here to the MERS frequencies. Holy crap, it's doing like almost 90 watts on 152.0. Almost 90 watts on 152.0. Uh, okay. Ha! Dropped down quite a bit. We're back down to 50 watts. I went from 152 to 160. It dropped down to 50 watts. 160. 170. About 40 watts. Nope. Hold on. 174. Uh, 174, about 40, about 40 watts on 174. Again, I don't know why you would ever want to transmit there. Uh, 136, it'll transmit there, about 40 watts on 146, 136.0. So how's that? You're kicking about 70 watts per band on each of the uh, simplex, FM simplex calling frequencies for 2 meters and 440 on the amateur radio band. Uh, this thing, I don't have, I don't see a stamp on this, an FCC stamp on this thing. It's Bell Fang Tech USA, so it's going to be, they're going to have some sort of FCC uh, certification on it. Probably just Part 97, I would guess. Um, it, m it may not be uh, Part, Part 90, I don't know if it's Part 90 or not. Okay, so there we have the Baofeng Tech or B Tech uh, UV5001. That's their full power uh, dual band mobile radio that uh, just came out. And um, like I said, I'll be giving that away uh, to a commenter or to a subscriber, I should say, at the end of this video. So subscriber number five will be the lucky winner. And of course, I'll announce that. Look at, uh, at the bottom of this blog post. If you found me on YouTube, go to livefromthehamshack.tv, scroll down, or uh, go to episode, this is going to be episode 30, and uh, look at the comments underneath that post for episode 30, and you'll be able to see where we are in the current status, and as soon as we get to uh, subscriber number 5, I will announce it and give the radio away. So, it seems to pretty, be a pretty solid rig so far. Um, of course, the UV2501, which was not available at the time that I ordered this 5001, that's just their answer. That's their 25-watt version. That's just like the Juntai JT6188 or the Zastone MP300. Um, so I wasn't as... That one wasn't as new and unique as uh, this 5001 is. But the 5001 seems to be a pretty pretty solid rig. Uh, comes in a nice uh, box and all the standard accessories for it that you'd want. So uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate uh, everyone's uh, comments. Appreciate everyone's support, whether it be through uh, donations on uh, the PayPal site or whether it just be uh, liking my YouTube page. Uh, feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube. Go uh, to my website and check out my other videos. 73, and uh, hope to hear you guys in the air.